Welcome back to Mount Real Fishing, everybody. And today, we are gonna be fishing a pond that I've never fished before. It's actually behind like a little church near my parents' house, cause I'm working today, today's Saturday. But uh, I'm working today and we're gonna go give that a try. And uh, I'm on my lunch break, so I don't know how long we have. We are currently having a slight issue with the YouTube channel, so. I'm down to one battery for my GoPro, which means I got about 30 to 45 minutes of recording time before my battery goes kaput. All my other batteries have been melted because of the heat in the GoPro. I have new batteries on the way, but they probably won't be here till Monday. So these next couple videos are probably gonna be a little bit on the shorter side because I've only got a few minutes to, sh to film and then it, it, the battery's dead. I'm gonna try to cut it off and then cut it on, but it's really hard when I'm Tinkara fishing, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Because it's such an active amount of fishing, I don't know when I'm gonna get a bite, when I'm not. Whereas when I'm using bait, I can kind of let it sit. I get a nibble, set the hook, cut the GoPro on. But in the meantime, we're gonna give this a try. So to quit wasting battery time, I will meet you guys at the water. So yeah, see you there. All right guys, we made it to the pond. We are currently at the back section of it, which the pond looks to be like really shallow on the edges, but I can't tell how deep it is in the middle. So we're going to start with the roto because I don't think there's going to be any bigger fish species in here right now. I mean, I mean, I could be wrong, but what we've currently got tied on for a fly is this like kind of bead head looking nymph thing. So we're going to start with that. We're going to fish it kind of fast. Not too deep. We have a we have had a cold front roll through, um, so it's a little bit cooler weather. I haven't seen any bigger fish come to the surface and feed, but it doesn't mean they're not there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I have seen a bunch of little fish. Speaking of, what do we got here? Looks like to be a little baby bluegill. So, first fish of the day. Hey, hey, hey. It's a very feisty, very small bluegill. I'm gonna get him out past the grass mat here because I want him to be too cooped up. All right, this this cast we're gonna go a little bit further out once we get untangled from these bushes. Now that we're at the water's edge, we're gonna let it sink. Let's see if there's anything with a little bit more size to it in this water. Something's already tapping it. It's moving towards us. Another little bluegill. Another little bluegill. Another little one, guys. I don't, oh, we were all tangled for a second there. It looks like I've seen a few little bass swim around over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There is a nice sized bass in here. I can see him. He's about I don't know, two or three pounds maybe. Makes me want to change flies. Put on something a bit bigger. That was a nice sized bass, guys. 
He's still checking out my fly every now and again. And let's put on something a little bit bigger that he might want to eat. I'm trying to move slowly because he can probably see me. So thankfully, do we have any wind knots before I even try? Okay, I didn't feel any wind knots. So, because this is a two pound test. So I'm gonna change flies and we're gonna get back to it. All right guys, we are switching to a black and gold minnow imitation that I've tied. Can't tell how good it's coming up out on screen, but we're hopefully gonna give that a try and hopefully he's gonna eat it. I don't know. I'm also worried that if we do hook him on this three pound test line, it may not be enough to really You know, I'm trying to get my fly wet. So, another thing I don't like about these marabou minnow patterns is they take a minute to get wet. And I fish mine weightless, which is why if I put weight on them, It'll work a bit better, but then you have to fish it a bit faster. I like being able to fish mine kind of slow. Once you get them wet, they do some, do some cool stuff with them. Got him. Got him, guys. Whether or not he stays on, I do not know. We definitely got him. Come on. Just gotta be really careful with him. Try to turn him a little bit. It's a nice size little bass. Y'all see him? Come on, bud. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This bass is so skinny. Oh my gosh. I feel bad for him. Come on, dude. I'm going to let you go as quick as possible. Oh my goodness, guys. This is not a healthy fish. Oh my goodness. I was wondering why he was barely fighting. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Look how skinny this fish is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel bad, come on dude, get back in the water. Oh my goodness. That fish is totally like dying. He's like swimming with a lilt. My goodness, I feel terrible for that fish. Oh my gosh. Wow, that, that just kind of ruined my whole day. That is terrible. I wonder why he's so unhealthy. I wonder if he's sick or if it's a bacterial infection or something, but oh my gosh. That is so sad. Huh. Cause I saw the length of him when he swam by earlier and I thought he was going to be a nice sized fish, but when I hooked him, there was no fight. That fish is totally dying. I feel terrible now. Wow, that's super sad. I wish I had some worms I could have stuffed into his stomach or something. Man, that's... Wow, that's... Wow, that's really sad. That's really sad.
I mean, if maybe there's more bass in here and it's just a competition thing. Like I see another little bass that's like three inches long over here. There's plenty of food for him to eat, so it's gotta be like a sickness thing. Wow, that, 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 that's a first for me, guys. I've never caught a fish that looked that unhealthy, ever. Like that just, oh, it makes my heart hurt. That's terrible. Are we gonna keep fishing here? Yeah, we are. Cause if there's one, and if he's, maybe he's starving because of competition, if that's the case, maybe there's a few other big bass in here. I mean, there's frogs, there's all kinds of food for him to eat. So there's gotta be something else going on. Like I said, maybe the water's got some, some sort of toxicness to it maybe, or a bacterial thing or, something but 